Sure. Well, we're going to demonstrate uh, how in the olden days they would have would have logged with oxen. We're going to move some logs around, uh, show how the oxen can be used to load a sled. Um, so this is uh, is Rock and Star. Um, Rock is on your right. Um, Star is over here to the left. Uh, typically, you call the the ox to the right hand side is is your nigh ox or your near ox. Um, star in the other side is in the off position. He's the off ox or the far ox. Um, they know probably about 17, 18 different commands, and then I combine them as well. Um, almost all draft animals, uh, horses, oxen, mules, um, sled dogs, uh, everybody uses G and Ha. So Ha is a left turn and G is a right turn. Um, I heard that goes back to 15th century England, um, and we still all use it today. Um, I use the, the whip here um, to give them directions. Now, you'll notice I'm not hitting them hard. I don't swing it as hard as I can and really smack them with it. I'm just giving them little signals. So, you know, if I'm trying to turn and star over here on the far side isn't paying attention to me, I can reach over rock and just give him a little tap on the back and say, hey, wake up. They can pull logs up in reverse like this. I could hook it and make them back up. Um, if it was a smaller log, I'd be asking a lot of them on something this size. I think I've only got about a foot worth of space on my bunks here. That's uh, seven feet and the logs are a little over eight, so. They're not making it easy for me to look professional here. So that's how you save your back. And, <laughs> uh, you can stack logs incredibly high this way. Um, I've had log stacks that were, you know, seven, eight logs tall. You can't see over. It was kind of fun. I'd have, you know, 200 feet of rope out there making my big V, and they'd be pulling. I couldn't even see the other side of the log pile. All of a sudden, you didn't see this big log come popping up in the air. So uh, it's kind of fun.